Hi there. Um, today's clip will be the last one in the introductory uh, session of how to deal with SPSS, and uh, we'll talk today about how to uh, again um, check for the normality and how to correct it. So uh, we said last time that normality here we are looking for normality of distribution and homogeneity of the variance ac across the groups and uh, how to test it for example if we have a set of three uh, outcome of uh, uh, of measurement uh, across uh, groups of male and female we can go to analyze descriptive statistics explore then you can select all of them against the, the gender here if we remove the gender then in the plot here we cannot test for homogeneity however if you add the gender here across the group so we can test the normality of distribution with the histogram and the normality plot at the test and the homogeneity of the variance we'll start with untransformed then continue then you push ok here this is what you will see that you have abnormality in the distribution as well as abnormality in the homogeneity of variance especially across outcome two and three so uh, uh, there is a very useful tricks uh, how to test different type of transformation before doing them so uh, and this is all about the spread versus level with level with leaving test so we can ask to uh, the SPSS to do for you uh, experimental uh, outcome before doing the, comp the computation itself and the transformation so let us say that you ask him to measure the natural logarithmic one for you for this data so you push OK what you will find that your will not change as we know but however the homogeneity variance a lot with transformation logarithmic the other way to do um, to do it or the another uh, way of uh, transformation is let us say the uh, so continue okay we are not doing it the trans transformation we are just testing the result of that before doing it you will find it still actually logarithmic is better than this form of transformation and one is recipro reciprocal one over that there is a very great improvement one more uh, way to test for that is one over the square root continue then ok and what you will find is almost similar to this day now um, let us do it in action so we have here so cancel this one go to different data in this data i have uh, the study hour in uh, in one uh, uh, gender and age um, i will show you that the study here is not normally distributed and i did three way of transformation of data now one very important point here if you are doing transformation of the data in one variable you have to do the same for the other continuous variable now let us test the study of the hour so analy analyze descriptive explorer then sit here study hour are looking for histogram and normative plot continue and ok and this is what you will find that there is skewness and ketosis and significant is below 0 0.05 so the normality of distribution is not assumed and there is positive skewness here in the histogram qq plot there is a lot of uh, disruption in the curve itself away from the expected data and the uh, 
determinant one you have clustration of data in one part and proxy plot there is some extreme values now the first uh, way of transforming that okay, so is to do lo logarithmic one and to do it is to go to compute variable from a transformation you will ask for logarithmic name of the new variable that you will transform it so study now equal to go for arithmetic from arithmetic will uh, you will uh, choose the logarithmic to the base of 10 you will put it higher there you will, you will choose your variable that you want to transform then you hit ok doing that you, ha you will have this column here now try to analyze this column explorer logarithmic one you are looking for histogram and normality of test okay the output is skewness and proof significant is still there but Q is improved the determined normal well a little bit improved box plus greatly improved okay the the other addition is the square root one so cube Compute variable. You have to you have to choose one of the transformation for all variable, not variable differentiation. So set square root study equal to square root higher study and okay you will find the column added to you if you want to test its normality go to explorer plot again histogram normality and then okay you will go and see in the output that still cortosan skewing has improved a lot and the histogram is less perfect less than perfect uh, less better transformation than the logarithmic one which is one which is better so it seems to be a logarithmic one is the better one for this data however different data may have different movement in transformation now i'm going to talk now here about different transformation in summary um uh, the other way is the reciprocal for the for the study so one over the study or even one over the square root of the data all of these three transformation are very important for positively skewed uh, data however for the negative skewed data you have to uh, reverse the score and then do one of these transformation um, having said that this is uh, concluding uh, about how to test for the normality and how to correct it before doing your statistics from next uh, clip we are going to start with the real stuff with how to uh, perform the statistics itself we'll start with correlation and regression then we'll go to uh, uh, comparing the, the, the groups uh, thank you for uh, listening